It's more just quaint. Anything okay. quaint just really quaint. gets me pumped up. Yeah. Don't stop me now. <laughs> <laughs> having, having a, a good, good time. time, having a good time. Yeah, that's the one. That's mm. the one. I don't know the rest of the words, to be honest. But I'm a shooting star. <laughs> 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 um. well, I guess we best start this. So I've got Laura Thompson, her cycling development manager, with me today. Well, having been a pilot and now a coach so could you explain a little bit about how that transition has happened and how it came about I started out in paracycling in 2010 um, went to the London Paralympic Games with an athlete called Philippa Gray and then through to Rio in 2016 with Emma Foy and then after Rio um, I retired and then this opportunity came up to move into um, the coaching role, so yeah, pretty and I think you've undersold yourself slightly. You not only went to London, but I think you came back with a couple of shiny, shiny medals. Is that right? Three, three shiners from London. Yeah, which which colours are those? Uh, one of each. Yeah. Yep, gold, silver, and a bronze. Out there. So, how far behind you is your Stoker? So, your Stoker is your your para athlete that's behind you. That literally, how... like right behind you. So if I move my bum a little bit too much, I'll smack her in the face with it, pretty much. So you are pretty, Sorry. pretty. And the height awesome. difference probably makes it worse. If you're similar in size, they're kind of not, not as close to that. Whereas they're right in under you when you're quite tall. Okay. I am a fan of a good meal, but if you talk to Emma about some of the repercussions of trying new foods on the back, oh, that's not a good imagine. thing. So, so you've got to, got to limit that. You got to limit yeah. that kind of thing. So you had a lot of success on the bike and you then transitioned into a coaching role. What's been the hardest thing in that transition to, to manage? Um, I guess personally for me I've got a young child as well so going from being an athlete and you sort of you, you only really worry about yourself and I guess the person that you ride with to then taking on this new role um, and becoming a mother at the same time I guess that was quite challenging. Yeah. And has your young son travelled much with you? Yes, Patrick. Um, he's 17 months old now and he's done 45 flights. Because you, you're studying as well? Yeah, I am studying as well. Yep. I like to challenge myself, I guess. So, Just... so any new paracyclists that are out there that may meet either of us at a paracycling camp or mm -hmm. be in touch on phone or email, what would be the few words of advice that you would you would give them? Um, I guess I'd just say just to get amongst it and come along and do some racing and do some riding, it's a pretty good time. 